with the KX News Storm Team. 514 here on this Thursday morning, as my co-anchor would say. Gateway to the weekend, we're almost there. So I, I have a little preview over my shoulder here. So the area of uh, air quality around Bismarck and Minot is getting smaller and smaller. It, it is getting smaller is and good. smaller. Well, yeah, which is a good thing. Yeah. Luckily, we'll continue to see that smoke really leave. It's just really light at this point. I mean, we're really close to being back in the good everywhere good. Uh, by the looks of it. But we'll continue to keep an eye on it because obviously more smoke could get pulled in. doesn't look like it's going to be, but you never know with this smoke. Pretty unpredictable. Yeah. All right, let's give them a look at home, shall we? Yeah, well, we'll start this off on the air quality index where we're seeing these moderate ratings across the south central out to the west. But again, they're right there at that threshold of being back in the good. Good starts or moderate starts at 50. So we're seeing ratings in the 56 at 52 out to the west in those mid 50s. So we're just really close to finally leaving these uh, moderate air qualities. We'll continue to keep an eye out through the rest of the day. Uh, areas up to the north are already in the good. Hopefully that rain will help get us mostly to the good. Visibilities right now do show there may be some fog developing down to that southwest corner of the state. Dickinson Beach. So we've got to keep, be careful of that as we continue through the morning. You also may have some reduced visibilities with heavy rains as they move through uh, through the morning. A satellite and radar right now does show that rain starting to form itself up to the northwest corner. This will continue to spread itself across much of the western uh, portion of the state. Heaviest rain looks to be to the north as we get through the morning into the afternoon. And then again, we have that severe weather chance down into the southeast. Uh, wind speeds and directions 5 to let's go 15 miles per hour right now. These are mostly from the southeast. But we are seeing some west winds, some south winds as well. Winds will continue to pick up again. Wind gusts today up to 25, 30 miles per hour. And then tomorrow through the afternoon, they could be up to 40 to 45 miles per hour, especially for that northwest corner of the state. Uh, temperatures right now got us sitting mostly in the 50s up to the north, down to the south, seeing more of those 60s uh, in the lower 60s range, uh, really equal across the state right now. And as we get through the afternoon, we're sort of still spread out apart. We're going to see some lower 70s out to the east, some mid 70s as well. As we move out to the west, got those lower 80s, even some mid 80s start to appear out to the far west. Some areas may struggle to get to their highs today just based on the rainfall you get. If that rain sort of slows down. You may not get to that high. SPC outlook for today does show this non-severe thunderstorm threat across all of the state. Then down to the southeast, we do see this marginal and slight risk for severe weather. What is that going to mean for us? Well, there's a tornado threat with this as well. It is a very low threat, but the threat is there. We'll keep an eye on the atmosphere throughout the day. We also have this wind threat up to 60 miles per hour for that region. Many, again, most of the region is going to see some heavier winds gust. And then you have this hail threat for that same area down to the southeast. That's up to a quarter-sized hail. Much of the region could see some small hail as well. We'll keep an eye on it. There is a world where this does stretch itself into the south central as well. As we get into our precision cast, there isn't much to see here uh, in the central portions, but out to the west, your rain is already forming there. It's going to continue to spread out throughout most of the day into the south central. We'll have some rain up to the north. By the end of the day, we actually should clear out, but again, severe weather threat down to the southeast with the first wave, and then there could be another round of uh, isolated showers and thunderstorms that develop on the backside. We'll continue to keep an eye on it. It looks to stay dry into Friday. You're up uh, a potential rain for this system does show up to a, a half an inch up to the north. Everywhere else going to be right around that quarter of an inch as we get through the next couple days. Williston five day forecast got us sitting in the 80s today through Saturday, 70s for Sunday, back to the 80s Monday. Dickinson 80s through the next three days. Sunday the coolest day at 70s, back to the 80s on Monday. Minot well a really similar outlook. 80s really through Saturday, back to the 70s Sunday, and then back to the mid 80s by Monday and Tuesday. Those look to be the warmest days we've had in a while. Your Bismarck seven forecast 80s the next three days 70s Sunday back to the 80s as we enter next week. Yeah, there was quite a little bit of a breeze uh, coming to work in this morning, but I, I suspect it looks like it's going to be a little bit stronger tomorrow and the weekend. Like you said, yeah, by the end of the day, it's going to pick up, especially in the mm -hmm. central portions along that front that moves through. And then yeah, tomorrow winds are going to pick up even more up to 40, 45 miles per hour that northwest corner. All right, Stone, thanks very much. Still to come here on Good Day Dakota, seniors can now get